Okay, another rest stop right off the 15th street. But this is what I've been driving through. Even though it's raining, the fall colors in the hills are beautiful. I'm about to leave Idaho and go into Utah, somewhere around there. So, uh, and just enjoying these fall colors throughout the entire hill. They, they go on for miles. At downtown Provo, Utah. And oh my God, it's adorable. Look at these tiny little stores and shops. And I have to come back here for lunch tomorrow. Right. This is where I'm having dinner tonight. Kay's Japanese Kitchen. Anytime I can get it, I'm going to get Asian food. So, tonight's dinner. However, it, this is such an adorable little downtown area. So I'm going to come back here for lunch tomorrow. Walk around. Okay, this is the where you check in. They do have a pool, but it's empty of water right now. They probably drained it because of the freeze that's coming in a couple of days here. In the evening or right about sunset, make sure you're wearing mosquito stuff deep because there are a lot of mosquitoes here for some odd reason. I don't, I don't know why. Salt Lake is a salt lake, so there shouldn't be any mosquitoes there. But I guess there's a lot of stagnant water just laying around. And I just found one here. We've got a pond. It's a mosquito be breeding ground. Not, not a good thing. Here we are in Provo, Utah. We're, I was supposed to be here for two nights. Ended up staying for three nights because I had to get out of the free zone in Minnesota. In Where was I? Montana. They had a sudden freeze for the weekend, so... I hightailed it out of there. I was one night, one night, one night. And I called in advance to to see if I can get a site here one day early. And they said, okay. The only thing is, what I really don't like, is I reserved a 50 amp site. And they ended up giving me a 30. Not very happy with that at all. So... Wanda's and a 30 amp site, full hookup, We've got water, sewer, and 30 amp. Not happy about that. I'm not in Canada anymore. I'm not in Alaska. I'm back in the lower 48. And I should have 50 amp. I don't like it when campgrounds tell you what you need. And she essentially told me, since the size of my rig is only 27 feet, that I only need 30 amp. Who the hell do you think you are telling me what I want or what I need? This is a 50 amp trailer. Do not tell me that my trailer is only 30 amps. I hate it when campsites do that. There's a lot of smaller rigs now that require a lot of power. That's me. I like power. Mentally, physically, and Wanda too. We like power. I also don't like the configuration of this RV park. So one pulls up, so their utilities on one side, my utilities on the other side, and I can actually hear the rustling from this morning for the people next door. They need to allow more space between the RV parts or RV sites. I like the space here, the little green belt area, but I don't like I don't know. It's just too close together. This was almost 50 bucks a night. Oh, and there's trash. Minimum wise, they did level the site. So that is a good thing. However, there are, there are trash. There are cigarette butts. There's, oh, it's just, I don't understand. I'm paying money for this park. Why don't they freaking, why don't they clean? 
why don't you come by and pick up after just pick up I don't get it dump station is right there along with the trash can laundry is at the main house where you where you check in and so are the restrooms I haven't seen any other restrooms around here but again I have my own facilities so I don't really care about public restrooms or all that so would I stay here again the answer would be no you reserve a 50 amp site they should give you a 50 amp site I got a 30 because the lady in the front said I only had a 27 foot trailer which is so wrong I don't like that don't like it at all don't stay here is my recommendation I would not stay here again I don't like it when parks tell you what you need bullshit you know what you need you need a freaking life you need you need more money you needed to make more money when you were younger so you could have been retired earlier that's what you needed oh pissed off about it all right we're gonna go check out the state park that's right down the street here at the Provo Lake park area state park and there's a fee I don't get that why is there a fee okay I'm not paying a fee to go look at a lake can't see from here there's the lake there's the water there's the water grass area around it nope not paying back in the car here we go. I'm here in Old Town, downtown Provo. I've already driven by the district area. This, this place is a ghost town during Sunday. I, I, every, everything, everything, <laughs> everything is closed. It's Sunday and there is a couple of people just wandering around, walking. But pretty much everything is closed. It's so unbelievable to me. There are no restaurants that are open. None. So, the grocery store, Smith's, was open. I bought a sushi pack. It's what I'm going to have for dinner. And probably just watch a movie tonight. Maybe do some editing. Who knows? But I'm in for the night because there are no open stores or restaurants to eat dinner wow <laughs> I can't believe this it's a very pious state we'll walk around here tomorrow when things are, are back to normal again we're having Sam Ha Korean restaurant tonight hot pot all the accessories rice Hot stickers and beef ribs and a lettuce to make it look healthy. This is the last day in Provo and it's now nine o'clock. I'm gonna see how long it actually takes me to tear down. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna time it minus filming. So whatever it is minus filming. I'm not in a rush. So this may take 30 minutes, it may take 20, I don't know. Got the water running right now to fill up the gray tank so when I dump the gray it will flush out the nasty stuff. Right, gotta put all the stuff in the car, in the truck, that goes in the hamper. Would I stay in this campground again? The answer again would be no. I don't like the way it's configured right next to each other. You can hear. I heard my neighbors again last night. I mean, they weren't being loud or ruckus, it's just, it's creepy when you hear other people moving around. It's like, oh, <laughs> it's like, was that in my coach? No, that was the coach next door. So, don't like that. And again, I don't like proprietors telling me just because I have a small rig that I only need 30 amps. All right, I surprised even me right now. That only took a total of 27 minutes to tear down, hook up, 
do the inside, do the outside. I'm getting better at this. A little winded right now. Oh, and that included three P brakes. So, not bad. Gonna get on her. Uh, again, don't care for this campsite at all. But I'm happy to be leaving. Our next one, I know I reserved 50, but that doesn't mean anything because I reserved 50 here. Is Cash Creek? No. Where am I going next? Cedar Creek. Somewhere between here and Las Vegas. It's uh, 230 miles, somewhere around there. Uh, so for me, that's a four hour drive. I should be there about two, one, one thirty, probably two, including pee breaks and maybe lunch. I would really love to stop at a Cracker Barrel. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.